Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Booed in the Hood. Thank you for coming back. Um, hopefully we'll have another good episode. The series so far has gone really well. I've had some good views, some good feedback. Um, I'm just I'm enjoying making it. Uh, and I'm enjoying, well, thinking about what could happen with this series. Because I do like it. And yeah, thanks, thanks to everyone. All your support, all your likes. Um, sharing it on Twitter, everything. All the guys in the community who watch me. Honestly, all of you, thank you. Right, let's get into this episode. First, I just want to say, I've just downloaded a new face pack. Now, if you don't know, I do stuff for FM Scout. I'm part of the FM Scout YouTube team. I've just released a video showing you how to install the Scope face pack. It's a mega pack with uh, 85,000 faces of players, refs, staff. It's brilliant. Now, I put it on my game and I'm really happy with it. It's really good. I'll put a link down below um, to the FM Scout website where you can find it to download it. And I'll also put a link to the video I made for FM Scout, which will show you how to install it on your computer. Right then, before we get into anything and look at anything, let's just go through the last few games in the uh, league, some of the games I've played off camera. We'll have a look how we've been doing and then we'll jump straight into the episode. Right, the first game was against Preston. We were away from home and I took a risk and played a B team, well, a majority B team. Uh, Will Griggs still played um, and they did really well. <laughs> we beat Preston 3 0. Will Griggs got um, an hat trick, he was also playing in a match. Uh, had some really good performances and some of the guys really showed up and I was really chuffed because I think you always run a risk when you play a B team like in the last episode I did that against Rotherham and we got spanked right the next game was Derby at home at the John Smith Stadium and it was a 1-1 and we scored early doors and I thought yeah this is going to carry on this great form it's going to end up 5-0 um, but Tommy Smith got sent off and it just put us on the back foot for the rest of the game um, Derby eventually got back into it, they did put a lot of pressure on us and had a lot more chances, a lot more of the ball and really to go that long with 10 men we were lucky to come out of this game with a point. The next game was Fulham away and just like the real life fixture that's just happened we've just been absolutely done over, we were beating 3-0 and um, again we had another red card and average performances all round and um, I mean Jonathan Hogg was probably the one shining light and he was okay. But yeah, um, I mean, stat-wise, it was even when it came to the shots, but possession-wise, we had less of the ball again. And it was just one of them where Fulham took the chances, scored some good goals. Next game was another draw, more points dropped. Um, yeah, disappointed with this one. 0-0 Boarfest, even though we absolutely battered him. We had more of the ball, more chances. <sighs> These guys just didn't turn up. Wells had a shocker on a 6.4. Greg didn't do anything. Had a couple of defenders who played okay, it was just, it was boring. Right, even though form's gone down a bit, I just thought we'd look at some of my key players and maybe do this every episode just to show you show you them in detail and you can take a look at them and see why maybe they're doing well. Um, well first we'll have a look at Wells, he's obviously the main man, he's been scoring a lot of goals, he's had a few off games recently but he still scores the majority of the goals and he has scored 12 in 14 games in the league, um, his league rating is 7.48. As you can see, he's got some speed about him. Um, 14, that's a good finishing stat for the championship. He's good off the ball, his work rate's brilliant, his anticipation is brilliant. He's got a lot of stamina and fitness. Next, we'll have a look at Moy, and he's a good player. Middle of the park, he's, he's a decent player. Um, great passing ability for this level. And that goal he scored in the last episode was one of the best goals. I mean, one of my friends said to me when he saw that, that's probably the best goal he's seen so far in every one series scored on the new game. It was a cracking goal. The next player I want to look at is Will Grigg, and I like him. <laughs> Will Grigg is on fire. He is a good player. Um, got good finishing, good off the ball. His composure could probably do a bit of work, and that's what I'm working on. Um, he works hard for the team. Even though his crossing's nine, he likes to get out wide and cross it in, and he's set up quite a lot of goals that I've noticed anyway um, he has only set up four in the league but he scored 11 goals in 13 games his average rating is on a 7.37 now I'll be honest with you I've not paid much attention to my youth team yet I just thought you know getting in there with my first team getting settled um, and then something pops up in my newsfeed saying that one of my young players has signed his professional contract or signed a contract and I was like who's he? clicked on him and I was like hey up I might have some here He's only 16 years old, but his potential ability is amazing. He's on two-star current ability. 
He's already pretty quick. And he's got some decent skills. He's completely centre half, completely right back, and might even become a left back. So, yeah, Williams is. Looks like he could be something. So, yeah, I've made sure his contract is signed properly. I had a quick look at it. Also, I just want to mention something about contracts. I don't know if you do this yourself, it's a little thing I do. Um, whenever you're signing a contract of a young player or you're signing a contract of a star player, there is an option in your clauses. Now, I don't know how many people do this. So I've talked to some people and they've never noticed it. But you can add on years, as in, you could sign that player for, to a four year contract, right? And there is an option to click that says extra years added by the club. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, a lot of the time it's three years. So you could sign a good player to a four year contract, put on a three year extension that's up to you, not him, up to you. And you're basically signing a guy on a seven year deal. Okay, let's have a quick look at the money because it's it's going. Now, our owner's rich, he's worth a few hundred million pounds. And I didn't realise the club's in debt. We owe money um, to the bank, 6.8 million. Which has surprised me really, because it's quite a lot of money. Um, you think the chairman might have cleared it, but no. Now, we're losing about half a million a pound a month. Uh, I think we've got about three and a half in the bank. At that rate, we're probably going to be skinned by the end of the year. So it's going to be interesting. If we get into the Premier League, obviously, we'll be okay. Because we all know what kind of money you get in the Premier League. But if we don't, it's going to be interesting to see what my chairman's like. Is he going to help us out? Is he going to sort the money out, pay some debts off, give me some money? Or am I going to have to sell some players and really bargain on it? I quite enjoy doing stuff like that. It makes it fun, doesn't it? But it will be interesting to see what happens at the end of the year if we don't get promoted. Right, it's been the awards again. And as always, I never win the Buddy Manager of the Month award. Even though I've been spending hours on Photoshop making a, a really cool photograph for when I do, I'm not going to get to use it for a bit. I do like that photograph. Can't wait to use it. It's mint. Anyway, uh, I come third. Which is fair enough because fo the farm has dropped a bit. Player of the month, we won, we won that. Uh, Will Grigg won it, um, which is brilliant because he has been playing really well. Apart from the last game or so, when we've not been doing that well, um, he has been a really, really good signing for us. So I'm chuffed that he's won it. Right, one more bit of news. Um, seeing as my chairman was in a good mood and he's my best buddy now, <laughs> I thought I'd try again and try and get an affiliate club, at least a small club, local ish, that we can send some players out on loan. Anyway, he come back to me and said, yeah, he'll have a look. And he gave me three options. Curzon Ashton, which is just over there. Staley Bridge Celtic, which is just over there. And Stockport County, which is just over there. So if you followed me since I began and you watched my series on FM16, I think you pretty much know which team I picked. And it was Stockport County. How cool is that? He's come to me and offered me Stockport County. I couldn't say no. So, Stockport County are now our link. Hopefully, I'll be able to send them some good young players, maybe, and uh, help them out a bit. But I'm just buzzing that I've got a connection with Stockport County. Right, let's have a look at the league. Uh, Skybet Championship. And we are second. Uh, we're just a point behind Newcastle. Um, with Wolves are just a point behind us. So, it is quite tight, but it makes it exciting, doesn't it? So, yeah, 34 points. And at the minute, we're in an automatic promotion place, which is brilliant. Right, today's live com is against Cardiff City, and I used to work in Cardiff, I used to be an engineer, I used to travel all over the country working in major train stations, and um, I used to love going to Cardiff, it's a great city, it's a lovely place honestly, um, and yeah, Cardiff City, Neil Warnock's a manager, now I think Neil Warnock's a decent manager, um, he's got a great history on it, a history that in the early 90s, he was right here, he was in my job, he was Huddersfield uh, town manager, one of his famous playoff wins was with Huddersfield, he got Huddersfield promoted through the playoffs, so yeah he's a proper Yorkshire man isn't he, he's been manager, has he been manager at Leeds, Sheffield United which is a team he supported so, yeah he's a good manager, he's coming towards the end of his career so it's going to be a tough test today, um, the captain is Sean Morrison who looks like an okay player, looks pretty good, he's okay, um, vice captain is Peter Whittingham, again he, he looks okay, um, not too bad. Um, the key player is Bruno something Manga. Let's just call him Manga. Um, he looks like a good player. So, I mean, with Sean Morrison and Manga, they look like they've got a decent central defence there. A good partnership. So, it's going to be a really tough game, but a game I think we can win, hopefully. Because form hasn't been great. I'm not as confident as I was. 
Right, today's team to face Cardiff is going to be the same formation, although I am thinking about using the other one a bit in the future. I'll see how that goes, but I have been spoken to recently by a viewer who told me I'm saying two names wrong, so I started watching a bit more Huddersfield Town TV and I think I found out how to say them, so I'm going to give it a go. Right, let's start at the back, and it's Bettinelli in goal. We're going to have Schindler on the at right back because uh, Tommy Smith is suspended, yeah. Uh, Morrison in the centre of defence. Right, Heffa Fethalili is called Heffa Letha. I, I saw that online, that's how he says it. And the left back, who I've been calling low, is called Lerva. Mr. Lerva, Lerva, that's, that's his name. Right, Hogg in the ball in the midfielder role. Billing in the centre of the park. We're gonna have Van La Parra on the right, Lolly on the left and Wells and Grigg up front. Hopefully, they're gonna do us a job today. Right, the press is saying, got a draw written all over it, which, you know, maybe it has, because we're not both, we're both not in the greatest of forms. I don't believe that. I've all, I always believe we're gonna win. It's the best way of thinking it. Um, how are they lining up? They're lining up with a 4-2-3-1, one of my favorite formations. But uh, fair play, everyone plays that, don't they? Um, so it's going to be interesting. I think we do quite well against it, so we'll see how that happens. Um, team talk wise, right? I'm going to be assertive, and I'm going to tell them that I want a win, that I expect a win. Um, most people have listened keenly. Some people are deep in thought. Um, but yeah, I want to win, and I've told them that. So go out there and give me that win now. Oh, go on. In today's Sky Bet Championship game, we've got Cardiff City versus Huddersfield Town. Okay, Cardiff kick off here today. Beautifully, beautiful stadium, innit? It's a decent stadium. Let's get a victory. I want three points. I do love that goalkeeper kit. I love it when they play in pink boots and pink kit. I don't know why. I just like it. Uh, come on, boys. He's controlled it sort of and give it away. That was poor. Here's Noon. Noon finds Zakori, is it? I can't see his name properly. Hogg gets it clear though. Well done, Hogg. Oh, and Wells has got it. Come on, Wells. He's bombing it now. He's cutting inside. He's in the box. He shoots. Goalkeeper saves it. And I think we're getting a corner. Three minutes gone. And it started all right. Lerva to take it again. He hits it in. They get it away. Come on, boys. Got a free kick now on the edge of the box. Lerva give it to Billing, Billing back to Morrison. Come on, Morrison, what are you going to do, lad? Cheeky back heel for no reason to Van La Parra, but Van La Parra lost it. Why did he do that then? Span round then he went. Have that. Hey. Noon has got the ball now. He's got his red boots on. He's cut inside. He's found. Oh, come on. Pilkington's on the ball. Pilkington shoots. I think Pilkington, I'm sure he used to play for Huddersfield. Okay, 12 minutes gone. Two shots each. They've had loads more of the ball. 57% of it. Oh, come on. This is going to be a battle, isn't it? Here's Hogg now. Hogg sprays the ball out to Lolly. Lolly down on the left-hand side. Lolly crosses it in nice and low. Oh, come on. Wells at the bloody crossbar. Hogg to Billing. Come on, Billing. Passes it to Grig. Grig can get past the man he does, but he wastes that chance. That was wasted. Here's Morrison now with a free kick. Plays it short to Billing. Billing back to Morrison. Morrison to Heffaleffa. Heffaleffa. Top name, that, isn't it? Here's Hogg. Hog to Billing. Come on, get it forward. We're playing a sacky football. Let's start attacking. Here's Grig. Grig to Wells. Can Wells do any magic? He has a shot and it won't too far off. Here's Pilkington now with the corner. Floats it in. We get it away brilliantly. But here's Noon now. Is he going to get the ball? He does. He gives it back to Pilkington. Pilkington now on the ball. Cut inside to the box. He gives it to Ganassa. and Ganassa and shoots. But better Nelly with a brilliant save. Riles, I think it is, to take. Gives it straight to Billing, who gives it him straight back. He just crosses it in again. Lerva heads it away. Richards now. Back to Rawls on the right hand side. Come on! Noon now. Noon tries to have a shot. Gets blocked. Cross ends up at Pilkington's head. And he heads it wide. Okay, I just passionately encouraged him. And um, they need some, don't they? Because I think Cardiff are on us here. Oh, come on! Oh, and they just scored. Morrison. Sean Morrison, 29th minute. 1 0 Cardiff. Let's watch the replay. Yeah, this goal felt like it was coming. Noon, lovely curling cross right into the danger zone. 
and it's just fell to Morrison. You could miss that. He blasted it in with some power, and it's 1 0 Cardiff. It's Is Van der Parren on the right hand side. He's passed it back inside to the ref. And Hogg's got the ball. Here's Hogg. Hogg's trying to find Wells. Wells takes his touch. He's laid it off to Grig. Grig, go on, lad. He does score! Will Grig, I love you. Your hair's on fire. You're amazing. 1 1. Let's watch the replay. There is Hogg now. Lays it off to Wells. Wells took a lovely touch, turned, lays it off beautifully to Grig. Grig shouldn't miss that, and he didn't miss that. And it's 1 1, and I'm cheering up. Van the Parry now to take the corner. Crosses it in. It's going to come back out to him. First time cross back in, a bit too high. Went over everybody, but Hogg's going to recover it. Gets it back in nice and low. Oh, come on! That will Grig again! Come on, 2 1. Yeah, look, that first cross went. Went over everyone, but Hogg recovered it. Manages to get it in nice and low. Will Griggs there, blasts it in. It went in off the keeper. Who cares? 2 1 just before the end of the first half. Okay, it's half time. Um, it's been a bit of a battle. I felt quite tense. Um, Cardiff have played pretty well. They've put us under a lot of pressure. Um, but we've scored two goals, um, two decent goals. Will Griggs has brought us back from getting beat, so I'm happy with him. Um, some decent performances, too many sixes for my liking though, uh, so I'm hoping for better. So yeah, I'm going to kindly say you've played well so far, but there's definitely room for improvement and um, everyone looks motivated pretty much. So hopefully we can go into the second half, get a few more goals maybe, not let any more in, and let's go back to Yorkshire with three points. Okay, here we are, we've kicked off the second half. Oh, let's see what happens here, eh? Yep, it's noon to take it. Floats it in. Can we get it away? Come on, boys, get it away. I think noon might get that back. Oh, two footed that, wasn't it? From uh, Billing, but decent tackle. Got a feeling Cardiff could come back in at this. So I think they've got the, the, the quality and the ability. Here's Lolly now, though. He's found Wells. But we have got quality. We've got ability. Wells tries it from a mile out, but you never know with him. He could score that. 55 minutes gone. Um, we've both had nine chances each. We've had more on target. They have had nearly 60% possession. Wells with a free kick. Oh, it's on target. Easy for the keeper. Um, so yeah, when you when you've got like 60% of the possession, they've always got a chance. They've always got a chance to score, aren't they? And, and I really feel like it's going to happen. So I don't know. You're finding the beta if you've got the beta. Uh, I have found there's quite a few injuries. Uh, I've had a lot of crashes. I'm having to save it a lot um, just to cover that because you don't want to lose anything, especially when you're making a series. Um, hopefully that's something they'll change because I never really had and I said this the other day I didn't have any, I had no crashes and lose any saves and have anything corrupted um, Here's Cardiff now on the attack in FM 16 so hopefully that won't happen as Hoyler oh okay again I just told them to concentrate we've got 20 minutes here's Hogg to Billing Billing to Wells come on Wells lay it off he's took a touch he's rebounded out and Van La Power's going to get it can he get a cross in he has done he's flowed it in Oh, Wells, do you see that then? Back heel to Grig. Grig shoots, it's wide. Okay, I'm going to go defensive. We've got 20 minutes of play. Um, I'm going to bring Wells off. Leave Grig up front on his own. Um, drop a few more men back. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that pressure. Here's Heffaleffa. I love that name. Now I know how to say it. Here's Lerva. Lerva. Can't help but say it like that, can you? Chris Lerva. And Mr. Lerva, Lerva. Here's Lolly now, come on. Lolly on the left hand side, not seeing much from the Lolster today. He's trying to find Grig, but it's a bit of a poor ball. Morrison retrieves it, gives it back to his keeper, who sounds like a coffee. Mucker. All right, Mucker. Here's Lolly now, come on, man, do something. He died before he got tackled. What was that, man? Right, I've made a substitution. Um, I brought Kachunga on up front. Since I'm playing with one striker now, I thought, you know, last few minutes, 15 minutes, it'd be nice to have a fresh guy up front running about on his own. Come on, do something. Passes, gives it all the way again. He's not been playing the well. I'll be honest with you, in January, something I think I want to look into is my wingers. I really feel like I can improve them positions. Both my wingers and my right back are where I really feel we need strengthening. Uh, here's Brannigan now. Come on, do something. We're just sitting there. I want to get tackles in, get a foot in. Oh no, oh no, Pilkington! Oh, bloody hell. Okay, we've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. We've, we've had one more chance in them. We've had a lot less of Apollo. But it just feels like it's Cardiff Cardiff, which we are. We're sitting back. We're, we're sitting back when we're playing counter. Um, we've got a lot of men back there. You can see that we've got like two defensive lines. There's Brannigan now charging forward for Cardiff again. They are really trying. They are really, really trying. But we are defending like heroes. Is Hogg now. He's played well till today, Hogg. Oh, Heffa Leffa! Hogg! 
What are we doing? Get it out. Come on. Okay, I've made another substitution. Um, Billing, who's played brilliantly, he's done some great tackles. He's knackered, he's like dead. Um, like a walking dead. This will be a great victory. This will be better than like a 4 1 spanking when you dominate a match because we're away from home. And I think we've been outplayed in areas. I think they've put on a lot of pressure, but we scored them two goals and then they, they just defended really well. There's Manga down the halfway line. We are. That's it, we're done. Full time. What a victory, 2-1 here at Cardiff, and I couldn't be prouder with that. Right, the team talk. I'm chuffed to bits with that, I won't lie. Um, I'm going to be passionate, I'm going to say well done that. Well done lads, that was a, a good win for us, and it, and it was, because they battered us really, and kept putting a lot of pressure on us, but we just defended like a unit, and that defensive tactic kicked in at the end then, and, and it worked, it did the job I wanted it to do. Um, as, as you saw, it was 2-1, two, two goals from Will Grigg. Um, we had 13 chances, they had 16. They had 54% of the possession, we had 46. But, you know, we did well. Hog on an 8.1. Brilliant game. Right then, here's the Skybet Championship. And let's have a look where it leaves us in the end of episode 4. And we're top of the league. Two points clear of Newcastle, who got beat off Leeds. There you go, GW. Leeds beat Newcastle 4-2. Good result for Leeds. Um, Wolves, how did Wolves do? Wolves drew. So yeah, it's a great weekend for us then. Right, episode five, we're going to come back and we are going to play Nottingham Forest um, at home, mainly because it's Nottingham Forest. I think they're a great club. And, but mainly, really, is be because it's um, Rich on Twitch's team. That's who he's got in his save. Finishing an episode, top of the league, is always a good thing. And it puts you in the mood for the next three days. And I can't wait to film the next episode. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as always, thank you for watching really does mean a lot. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing. I hope you stay. Um, really looking forward to this series. It's, it's, it's just fun. So I'm hoping you're enjoying it as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it really. We're going to come back for episode five. We're going to be playing with John Switch's Not Good Forest, a game I can't wait for. Um, so yeah, thank you. Hope you have a nice day. Take care. I'll see you later.